plaintiff, Charles Gonzalez, says his wife had guardianship of the defendant when she was a teenager. And last year, she lived with him until the defendant kicked his child. He's suing for the value of a car. Defendant Samantha Dearmore says Charles's wife asked her to move in so she could cheat on Charles while Samantha babysat. Samantha claims she moved out after being attacked with a bat and she's countersuing for an illegal eviction. I'll start with you. I know Samantha, the defendant, through my wife. Well, she's actually my fiance. Is it okay if I call her my wife? What do you mean, call her on the phone? Or? <laughs> well, I don't understand. You think no, because she's, right, a, if you she's actually it? my fiance. Gotcha. So, no, at least you ask the judge before you lie to him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That means you're honest. Go ahead. You're uh, permitted to lie. Go ahead. Okay, so <laughs> my, my wife got a guardianship of the defendant when she was 15. Um, she was having problems at her home, so she took her in. And uh, I believe two years after her having guardianship, she ran away with her boyfriend. I and disagree with that. Okay, I'll let you tell me in a minute. And uh, she's been in and out of her life since then. Okay. And uh, in 2010, August of 2010, um, she was having problems where she was staying at again. So we all agreed for her to come stay with us so she could get on her feet, go to school, get a job. Did she do that? No. She, she didn't did. go to school or no, get she didn't a job? Go to school. Neither of you no. two? Uh, what, that's a lie. What was she doing? Staying around the house. She was, you know, uh, the agreement also was that she was supposed to uh, help her out around the house. And she did, but there was a lot of times where I also had to ask her politely, could you please um, go and wash the dishes or something? Is it okay if I call her my wife? What do you mean, call her on the phone? Or? <laughs> well, I don't understand. You think no, because she's, right act, she's actually her? my fiance. Gotcha. So, no, at least you ask the judge before you lie to him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That means you're honest. Defendant Samantha Dearmore lived with a plaintiff and his wife, but she moved out after the plaintiff's wife attacked her with a bat. Let me hear from you, young lady. Give me some background. Partial of the story is correct. When um, I was younger, she did receive guardianship of me. Uh, and I was 16 when I moved out because she started getting into alcohol and drugs. I was about 20, almost 21, when I finally got in con when she contacted me again to see how I was doing. And I noticed that she had straightened out. She stopped drinking. She was doing really good. And then, like he had said, in August, I moved in with them. I did house cleaning and babysitting for house them. House cleaning and babysitting? Mm -hmm. In exchange for rent? Yes. Okay. Actually, I just pretty much came to the conclusion on my own that after like a week or so of me living there, it was just very clear that she talked him into letting me come and stay there so she could have a live-in babysitter so she can go party and cheat on him every day while he was at work. She would ensure that she was there before he got there for lunch every day. And as soon I didn't as know she was seen. She would tell me she would come home crying sometimes when she was drinking and tell me that she screwed up. She went and did this with this guy. She was taking and blame something. it on the alcohol. Right? Mm -hmm. You know, so I feel that, you know, she was pretty much just using me for her own gain to go party and do what she wanted without his knowledge of it. What caused the relationship to go bad? I confronted her about her actions and she attacked me with a baseball bat. You said, stop cheating. And she came at you. <laughs> No, uh, her children were misbehaving and playing with dog feces in the backyard. And she heard one of her children scream and she told me to go and check on them. And when I went out to ask her why she didn't come in to see what was wrong, and she was like, well, I figured you could handle it. And I was like, so you want me to bathe all of your children when they have dog feces all over them? And I'm supposed to do what? Go back and forth from each bathroom? How many clean? children? Three. Okay. Let me hear from you about the car, sir. Why are you suing her? Uh, shortly after she came to live with us, we, I made an agreement with her that she could use the car for work and school. Mm -hmm. And uh, she gave me $50 a payment. I sold her the car for 2000 Putting $50 down? Yeah. When was she to complete the Oh, uh, She was going to make uh, $50 or more monthly payments. Okay. Did she? No. Did she ever make any other payments? No. And did you get the car back? Totaled. She totaled the car? Yes. When you asked for your money, what did she say? 
um, I don't have a job right now. I can't, I can't pay nothing. Ma'am? Um, did you tow the car and why shouldn't you pay if you did? I did get into an accident with the vehicle. Mm -hmm. He said it was about two, three hundred dollars to get it going and running. We made a new agreement once I had no money to pay for the vehicle and I still did not receive a job mm -hmm. that was initiated by his wife. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm pretty sure she was doing that so I would keep my mouth shut about what she mm -hmm. was doing behind his back. What was the new agreement? The new agreement that I would babysit as payments towards the vehicle. Okay. So what were you going to do for rent? That was the house cleaning. So that's your defense is that you did not have to pay under this new agreement. Exactly. How long and how many hours were you to babysit? Um, whenever they were wanted to go out. Um, that was the agreement. Whenever we want to go out, you babysit. Yeah, whenever they did go they out. Did they say or... which one? Both? When they both went out? Mm hmm Okay. And you're still doing it? No. Why? Because they terminated the contract when they illegally evicted me and kicked me out. Okay. When did they kick you out? It was um, about the last week of November. Why? Uh, because me and her got into the altercation and she attacked me with a bat. And then they both asked me to leave and not to come back. Sir, did you all uh, attack her? I was at work today and this is what I, what what I gathered. What did you hear? Um, my wife called me and told me that there was an altercation. So I rushed home from work. They were yelling and arguing. Mm -hmm. and uh, About what? I don't know, to be honest. I don't know what they're arguing about. Your wife calls you. You didn't ask her one when she called. Neither did you ask when you arrived and saw it. No, I know uh, she had told me that, that the defendant had kicked my my baby. So you did the, know. With the stroller. So you did know. Well, I don't know what, what it started about, you know. Did you all change the agreement regarding the car? I, I believe I recollect something of changing the agreement. <laughs> what was the new agreement? That we would knock off some money for the, what she was uh, watching the kids. How much? It wasn't uh, an agreed amount or nothing. Okay. Do you have anything showing the value of the car? Yes, I do, Your Honor. That's a Cali Blue, Blue Book right. price. And you all did? Uh, get into an altercation and she left at that time, right? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, All right, and that altercation was a result of her kicking the baby or you still don't know? Ma'am, why did you all get into the altercation? Uh, we got into the altercation because I was telling her that she needed to stop acting the way that she was and stop neglecting her children. And, and then she went off on you. That's Yes. What, all right. And, and, and I feel that I don't owe anything for the car since they both deleted the contract when they uh, evicted me and my daughter and made us homeless. What caused the relationship to go bad? I confronted her about her actions and she attacked me with a baseball bat. You said, stop cheating. And she came at you. <laughs> Defendant Samantha Dearmore lived with the plaintiff and his wife, but she moved out after the plaintiff's wife attacked her with a bat. What did the eviction have to do with the contract for the car? Because the contract for the car was for me to babysit, and seeing as how they kicked me out and I was no longer able to babysit, therefore there was no way for me to pay for the vehicle. You're right. As you say, you want the contract to be voided, right? Yes. All right. When a contract is voided, you go back to where you were. So you go back to having a car worth $2,480. Your claim is dismissed because, as you said, there was no agreement. You said the agreement was invalid. Isn't that what you said? Well, um... <laughs> <laughs> Judgment for the plaintiff. Have a good day, young Thank lady. you, Your Honor. I mean, you're making up stuff, and then you... Of course, you're not going to tell, tell everybody that you scratched her forehead. Defending myself because you watched her attack me with a bat. She sent, uh, called me and told me that if I ever... All we ever did property, was try to help you, Sam, and look at... Really? Look at this. Yeah. What do you mean, really? Really? All you ever did was try to help me? You don't think she's cheating on you and she admitted to you that she f the neighbors? No, uh, she never said that she did. Oh, well, yeah. that's because she doesn't consider it.